This morning I am having a giant bowl of cereal, so that is how I'm starting off my Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, because this past weekend was Labor Day weekend, so. So today's kind of a write-off. I think I ate something that just is messing with my stomach and is not making me feel well because I also don't need to go into it, but it just, I've been having a rough go of it today. Um, I had that cereal this morning. I also had that cereal last night and I think it has to do with the cereal that I've been eating. And I haven't had cereal in such a long time. And when I do have cereal, I typically go for Cheerios but I went for a different cereal this time and uh, having issues. So I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm having issues, but it's just not making me feel well. I, yeah, it, this, this day has, <laughs> it's like about to be lunchtime. So basically this morning has, has not been, uh, the best experience to say the least and neither was last night so I can definitely pinpoint it to being the cereal so what I'm going to have for lunch slash dinner is probably gonna be something rice based um, because when I'm not feeling well like this having something that can like soak in whatever is happening for me typically helps me to feel better so yeah, I'm going to have something that is rice based and I'm just going to do Grubhub and that's going to be my meal. So I will show that later when I eat. It is currently like 1130. But yeah, I, I can just tell like I need something a little bit more solid in my body and like rice based foods just like really help me to get there um to feel a little bit more solid and not feel awful like I'm currently feeling so yeah there's that there is that is lunch I got this curry pork curry thing that comes with rice as you can kind of see there and then it came with a side of vegetables and some sauce so that is what I'm having for lunch. Currently having some ginger tea right now, ginger honey tea. I had the uh, pork cutlet rice bowl, which is what I got. Pork curry cutlet rice bowl. And it wasn't like super filling, but it did the job. And I thought I would finish off with drinking two cups of tea, ginger tea, to kind of hold me over. Because honestly, I think it's just dehydration. I'm not hungry. I think I just need water. But also, ginger tea is really good. And I have a headache, which I'm attributing to the fact that I don't have enough water in my system. So today is just um, a not feeling well type of day. <laughs> but that's okay also my hair looks crazy I like washed it and then dried it obviously and didn't put any product in and usually I put product immediately in so it's like very all over the place and it's not brushed out or combed out and nappy and shrinking and it looks a real mess so anyways I will probably see you for dinner if I eat dinner because I said I didn't really feel full after eating lunch but as I'm drinking these two cups of tea I am starting to feel very full and my stomach is feeling so much better so duly noted I'm never buying that cereal again could have just been a bad batch I don't know but it did definitely uh, did a number on me so which is why I'm bedridden today even though I went out and got take out to go take away you know what sucks about being an adult like one of the things that suck is that when you are sick you have to basically go and take care of yourself so my dinner is going to be a pretty lame one because 
that food earlier like I felt fine for a little bit but I am back to feeling pretty nauseous and I just don't like that feeling so I got myself some sparkling water because I didn't want to get um I didn't want to get ginger ale for some reason I was just like sparkling water will be fine and then I got myself some saltines so I plan on hopefully finishing this entire thing but yeah I'm just gonna finish out work and continue watching Netflix and then I need to edit these videos so I can get them uploaded to you guys because I am slacking but today is just yeah and I have a headache right now and it's just really annoying probably gonna take a Tylenol because I'm just not feeling great at all so that is gonna be my dinner is saltines and sparkling water so yeah should not have had that cereal but you know what indulge next time I'll just stick with honey Cheerios because I never have an issue with those and those are my favorite but I was like I'll go for a healthier option the healthier option this something to me girl cuz anyways anyways I'll check in with you guys tomorrow for breakfast this morning I'm having avocado on toast with egg and some juice and more of my sparkling water from last night. Today's lunch is some stir fry vegetables with some chicken and lots of goat cheese along with the sparkling water that I need to finish. But yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch. I also had a pack of saltines earlier as well. So yeah. I've got this. Having some tea while watching a show. I know you're busy and everything, but I've been busy too because I've been calling the ladies to check up on them. And then, of course, working with them, uh, what do you call it? With the, with the iPhone, with, with the, the stuff outside, the camera and the thing. I've been working on that. Yeah. And uh, doing some other things. So, hmm. yeah, I've been mean, keeping busy. That's and good. then I'm working on this now, you know. I want to see how far I can go with this. Yeah. I like it. I really like it. This is the color of it. This is a color. Oh, it's multicolored. That's really cool. And it's cotton. Yeah. So I'm going to use this and you can use it in the winter too. Just wrap it around the neck, you know, in a nice way. Good morning. Um, I just made breakfast, so I'm basically having avocado on toast with egg and celery juice along with some crackers i'll show you guys here but yeah this is my breakfast I have two eggs avocado on toast with my celery juice and that is what i'm having this lovely cool fall morning i am having stir fry vegetables with boiled chicken <laughs> and some water and a little bit of saltines on my last pack of saltines came in a pack of four so but I'm currently cooking my dinner. As you can see, I'm having some vegetables with some chicken. And that is going to be my dinner. I'm also going to have some uh, tea tonight. So I'm also going to for that journey. But yeah, I today is Thursday. This week has truly gone by so incredibly fast. But... It's a four day work week, so of course it's gonna go by faster. But yeah, that is what I'm making. I'm gonna have some tea. I will show that because I've had a lot of tea the past couple days. I need to drink more water, but you know, tea is also really, really good. And that is my dinner. I'll show it to you up close. My tea is a Berwin. It's almost done. And I already started <laughs> on my dinner. I had the chicken, and now I'm just finishing with some goat cheese and some stir fry vegetables. And I'm just waiting for my tea to be ready so I can have Good morning. I am having yet another uh, avocado on toast with egg, and I'm just having it with some water. I'm not showing myself on camera because I literally look crazy right now, so. Also very exhausted. 
there's weird noises happening outside. Someone's moving, but I'm currently having some currently having some mixed nuts, unsalted mixed nuts. It's cashews, almonds, pistachios, and pecans. Got this a few weeks ago when I was making baklava. I made baklava several times now. I needed it to have pistachios in it. So yeah, I'm having this. I thawed my chicken way too late. So it's almost like one o'clock right now. You can't see that, you, you can see that. But I'm gonna have this pack, like two packs of these noodles, along with the rest of my stir fry vegetables. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. I might, the lighting is, is weird right now. Super weird. Anyways, I'm gonna have that with the vegetables. Ooh, the remaining vegetables that I have. And then uh, when I get off work, I'm gonna go to Costco, get some food, like more food, cause I only have chicken right now, which will last me another week um, and a half. But, I don't have any vegetables and I need vegetables. So I'm gonna get me some frozen vegetables. I'm also gonna to try to go to Trader Joe's as well and get me some other things as well that I need out there. Their oat milk is some of the best. So I don't know why I'm trying to put this back. I need to wash a pan um, for that. So yeah, I'm currently making my lunch and then we'll go out later and get my dinner. But when I go out and get like the groceries and stuff for the next couple weeks, I will show you guys my food shop um, tonight. So I will see you then. Just, But I will first show you the finished result of my lunch. So we just got back from Costco and Trader Joe's and I will show you guys the food shop. I already unpacked it all. So I'm just gonna go through it quickly. Um, I did have a hot dog at Costco because I was famished. And yeah, that is, this is gonna be the last update for tonight. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I got at Costco and at Trader Joe's. So to start off in the back, I got two things of celery juice. I'm trying to like make this last like a couple weeks. Um, obviously some of this will last more than a couple weeks, but just so I'm not going back to the grocery store as often, <laughs> um, just trying to minimize. But yeah, I got two celery juice containers. I got two um, kombuchas just to have like, you know, as like a different uh, drinking option than water. And I have two vanilla almond granola cereal because I'm going back to parfaits because obviously I need it to replace the ice cream, which is why I also got goat yogurt. So I'll have that together. I have frozen um, fruit in there, so I'm just going to kind of like, like defrost it and then have it as part of my parfait. And I got oat milk, some olive oil. I got some seasoning that I've been running out of, like uh, paprika. Um, haven't had this in a while, the Everything But Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend. Um, when I first had it, I didn't think too much of it, but I thought I'd try it again. And then I got some onion salt. Then I have eggs, some chicken. Got like three things of them, and they're like pretty affordable. And then I got two things of sausage, just to have all the protein, essentially. And I got three, three of these um, unsalted crunchy peanut butters. They're like $1.99 at Trader Joe's. And I got my favorite bread. This is the best. Ezekiel's really good, but I just like the flavor and texture of this is just phenomenal. And I just always keep my bread in the freezer because it just will last longer. And then I got two of these stir fry vegetables from Costco. So things I got from Costco were these vegetables and the celery juice. Everything else was from Trader Joe's. 
But yeah, that is my food shop for the next couple of weeks. It should last me a lot longer actually because I have enough protein to last me for quite a while. And then also um, I got the stir fry vegetables. So I think the only thing I'll really need to stock up on is probably the yogurt along with milk and then maybe vegetables um, just to like have more in them in my meal so that I'm fuller longer and not going for unhealthy choices. So yeah, and the chicken that I got from Costco the other week, it's still like, there's still a lot of it left, but it just takes a lot longer to cook. And so I just have these options as quicker things to make. Um, and then I will make the chicken that is over there thawing, which should be thawed enough. I'm gonna just bake it and then kind of shred it um, afterwards and then have that as part of like ready to go meals. And then this stuff will be in the freezer um, but they're just like a lot easier to make because when chicken's in the bone, it just takes a lot longer to cook. So yeah, this is the food shop so far. I'm going to put away my groceries and yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is still the morning. It's 1143. I went to bed at like 345, 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so just watching, I was binge watching a show, uh, still watching it now. Slept, woke up around like 10 or so. And yeah, I decided I'm gonna make breakfast. So I'm doing avocado on toast. I have my eggs cooking, my avocado ready, my celery juice ready, and my bread. So after the weekend that I had on Labor Day weekend, I'll just be honest, I had ice cream. I had burgers. I had fries. I had Mexican food. I had Panda Express. I just ate and ate and ate and I had pastries and all that stuff. So I'm sure that I gained weight because I gained weight very quickly. Like I gained weight easily and I gained weight quickly. So today my weight in is 214.5 and the goal is we're not going up, we're going down. So Labor Day weekend, had my fun, ate what I wanted, haven't really worked out this week because I felt horrible at the beginning of this week. And then also had ice cream as well as you guys saw, but our goal is to go down. So I'm going to make continue finishing making my breakfast and I will show you guys the finished result here shortly. Here is the final product. Got my avocado on toast with egg. I did the everything but bagel seasoning and then I also have some goat cheese and then also my celery juice. So that is the breakfast for today. Hey guys, so I went to Sprouts and I got my next meal, sushi. I got this spicy tuna roll. I also got this Vital Proteins Collagen Beauty Greens. I think I'm gonna have this every morning with my celery juice. I'm just gonna add it in there. It is the vanilla coconut flavor. Like it was the only, they had like other ones, but this one was the only one of like Collagen Beauty Greens and I was like, it couldn't hurt to like have more greens um, and also trying to be looking after my skin, hair, nails, and joints and all that stuff. I also got some Gatorade. I, when I get like sick or when I'm not feeling well, I like to drink yellow Gatorade. And so I thought I would just have this kind of on standby. I'm not gonna like drink it just to drink it. I just wanna have it on standby. Um, 
because in case like I don't feel well or have an upset stomach. Also, I've been listening to this podcast. It is by Transformation Church. It is the Relationships Goals um, series by Michael Todd. I'm on the second one and it's so, so good. So if you need a podcast rec recommendation, I would recommend listening to that, the Relationship Goals one, the series. It's like eight, nine parts, but it's so good. Like you just learn so, so much. So yeah, Michael Todd is the pastor. It's a uh, Transformation Church and it's the Relationship Goals series. I was listening to that in the car and I'm just like, tear up that list that list is not me with god you know anyways i'm gonna tuck into this spicy tuna roll and have i think something to drink i'll just probably stick with water you know what no i will have my other kombucha or should i save that for tomorrow i'll have it tonight with this so yeah, that is what I'm currently eating. I'll show you what I'm eating if I eat more later in the day. If not, I, I'll get back to you.